Hello, friends in this video you'll see how the high actors in the movie Knight Rider changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 1982 and what's with them now in 2022. Let's get started. David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight. David Hasselhoff has turned out to be one of the most recognizable faces on TV and in the arena. Aside from starring in Knight Rider, 1982, and Baywatch, 1989, he is also a performed singer and famous recording artist. David Michael Hasselhoff changed into Born on July 17, 1952, in Baltimore, Maryland, to Dolores Therese, Mullinex, and Joe Hasselhoff, Joseph Vincent Hasselhoff, an enterprise government. Edward Mulhair as Devin Miles Surprisingly, Edward Mulhair in no way accomplished big-name popularity on the massive display screen. Among the few movies he made, one best recollects his dastardly villains of our man Flint, 1966, and Caprice, 1967. Mulhair, a showed bachelor, died at some point during the filming of the Jack Lemmon slash Walter Matthau comedy Out to Sea, 1997, at the age of 74. Richard Basehart as narrator, opening titles. Despite many a powerful performance, this actor by no means pretty accomplished the stardom he deserved. Ultimately, Richard Basehart became excellent regarded to TV audiences as Admiral Harriman Nelson, commander of the Glass Nose Nuclear Submarines. S. R. N. C. View and Irwin Allen's Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, 1964, shown on ABC from 1964 to 1968. Born, August 31, 1914. Died, September 17, 1984, age 70. Patricia McPherson as Bonnie Barstow. Patricia McPherson was born in Washington wherein her father became a high-ranking naval officer. She spent numerous years in France while her father became sent to Paris, and later studied marketing at the college in Florida and California. She then became a successful version and labored as a magazine photograph artist. Knight Rider, 1982, become her first TV collection. Born, November 27, 1954. Rebecca Holden as April Curtis. Rebecca is a singer, actress and entertainer. She began her track training at the University of North Texas, majoring in voice and piano, after which moved to New York City to hold her research. While in New York, a skills business enterprise spotted her and made her a Breck lady. Rebecca could seem on magazine covers, do a few classified ads, and then she headed for Hollywood. Born, June 12, 1958. Peter Peros as RC3 Reginald Cornelius II. Peter Peros stars as David Harrington of Tyler Perry's The Haves and the Have Nots, own TV. Peros is likewise recognized for his longtime role as Dr. Ben Harris of As the World Turns, CBS, as RC3 slash Reginald Cornelius, 3, of the popular TV series Knight Rider and as Officer Gus Grant of the new Adam 12 series. Born, November 11, 1960. Sean Ora Engeman as Lonnie. Sean Ora Engeman became born on November 5. 1959 in Studio City, Los Angeles, California, USA. She is an actress and manufacturer, known for Remington Steel, 1982, WWE Raw, 1993, and Bombshell, 1997. Born, November 5, 1959. And Turkle is Adrian Margot. And Catherine Turkle become born in 1946 and raised in Manhattan, the daughter of Thelma L. Friedrichs, and Melvin A. Turkle. She is of Austrian Jewish and Russian Jewish descent. And took performing, dance and voice lessons from an early age. By the time she reached 16, and had studied at the Musical Theatre Academy with outstanding performing coaches. In 1971, she completed a season of Summertime Inventory Theatre. Born, July 16, 1946. Catherine Hickland as Stephanie Stevie March. Catherine Hickland is an American actress, quality recognized for her starring roles on daytime television, most extensively within the award triumphing role of Lindsay Rappaport on ABC's One Life to Live, 1968. Born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, her first expert task was given her national attention, as a stewardess in an airline Fly Me advertising campaign. Born, February 11, 
1956. Lance Legault as Vernon Gray. Lance Legault was born William Lance Legault on May 2, 1935, in Chicago, Illinois. Legault grew up in Chillicothe, Illinois and graduated from Chillicothe Township High School in 1955. Lance started his acting career as a stunt double for Elvis Presley. He appears in the 1960s Presley Automobiles Girls. Born, May 2, 1935. Died, September 10, 2012, age 77. Pamela Susan Shoup as Maggie. A veteran character actress with a prolific profession, Pamela Susan Shoup started out acting at the same time in her teens and hooked up herself as a TV ordinary within the early 70s. Since that point, she has been regarded in several guest spots on a variety of TV packages at the same time as once in a while operating in theatrical movies. As a habitual participant for Glenn A. Larson, Pamela has made many appearances in at least nine specifics indicates associated with the famed TV creator, director, and manufacturer. Born, June 7, 1948. Michael Masters is cabbie. Michael Masters changed into Born on August 7, 1929, in Chicago, Illinois, USA. He become an actor, regarded for combat. 1962, Emergency. 1972, and Remington Steele, 1982. He died on December 2, 2003, in Arletta, California, the USA at the age of 74. Brian Cutler as bar manager. Brian Cutler become born on May 18, 1945, in Los Angeles, California, USA. He is an actor and producer, recognized for Catalina Capers, 1967, Emergency, 1972, and Mork and Mindy, 1978. He is married to Jill Cutler. Born, May 18, 1945. Phyllis Davis changed into one of the loveliest faces in Hollywood throughout the overdue 60s early 80s. She grew up in Nederland, Texas. The own family lived on the second ground of her parents' mortuary enterprise. Phyllis and her two younger brothers learned a way to be quiet all through offerings because the flooring might creak. Phyllis attended Lamar College in short, then went to Los Angeles within the mid-60s to pursue a profession in movie and TV. Sadly, Phyllis stored her conflict with cancer extraordinarily personal. And after her passing away in 2013, there was some confusion as to which Phyllis Davishad died. Born, July 17, 1940. Died, September 27, 2013, age 73. Thanks for watching this video, be sure to subscribe, like and share.